Have you ever wondered what paradise looks like? Well, this is Koh Samui. I can still remember my first time here exploring fresh off the plane from Bangkok. But where to stay in Thailand's hot spot island? Beaches, restaurants, hotels, I'll break it all down in the top three spots in Samui. Oh, yeah. Had to cool down a bit before we get rolling on this top three list. Number one on my list is here in Lamai. Now Lamai is a short, about a 20 minute drive from the airport on the east coast. So you get this miles and miles of beautiful sandy beach, plenty of places to relax and plenty of hotel options. It's a more chilled out vibe than you'd find in other places of the island. It's popular with couples, with families, but that doesn't mean you can't have a good time. The main strip that runs parallel here to the main beach in Lamai, well, it's full of all sorts of bars, restaurants, and so at night, if you want, you can get your drink on, you can go there and have a good time. Also, it is more budget friendly, more budget oriented, so you're gonna get much better prices on these hotels that we see here dotted along the beach. Now, despite the fact that the ferry is located on the west side of the island, the popular spots are here on the east side of the island, running up to the north. Over the years, I've spent weeks here on the island of Koh Samui, stayed in various hotels along the east coast and up to the north. All these spots are very popular and they offer plenty of options for staying and having fun. What's especially cool, if you're here in Lamai on a budget, there are plenty of things to see and do free or next to nothing. You can go out and take a hike up to the Nam Meng waterfall. I did that last year. It's stunning, it's beautiful. There's a natural infinity pool at the top. You can also go see the Hin Ta and Hin Ya rocks, the grandfather and the grandmother rocks. They're just down that way there, south of here in Lamai. Those rocks, well, it's a beautiful rock formation. Why they're so popular? Well, they're said to resemble the male and female genitalia. Go there for yourself and decide. Also, up that way, there's a beautiful coffee shop and you can get up there easily with a tram or one of these Funivia things that take you up or I believe you can hike up there and it's the popular overlap stone. You can see it everywhere on Instagram. Go up there yourself, get your Instagram shot and get a beautiful view of the east coast of this island. And don't worry, at night you'll find plenty of clubs and bars lined up on the main road there. The atmosphere is generally a little bit more laid back, but there's still plenty of good live music and places to chill out and have fun and get your drink on. Now the great news for all of us is that there are so many hotels here in Lamai and the prices are generally lower than the other places I'm going to get to and I'll share with you later on in this video. Along with each of these three top spots today, I want to give you hotel options and we're heading to that first one right now. We are at the Lamai Bayview Boutique Hotel and it's just here on the north end of the beach and it has a unique Bayview as the name suggests. Let's check it out. Now I wanted to give you an inside look at these bungalows that are here perched up on this hillside, each with this unique view of the water down there and the beach, but they are fully occupied. This place is popular and this is high season right now, but consider this is gonna be a budget option for you. It's not that much money and at the end of the video, I'll explain the prices on all the accommodations we see today, but just imagine waking up in one of these bungalows here with the sounds of the waves coming softly in on the beach down there in the morning. It'd be a perfect wake up for the ride. I'll use some photos from booking.com and show you the interiors of these places, but they look stunning and you'll be surprised at just how low cost they are. I'm stopping here off the main road for one minute for a quick public announcement. 
the criteria we're using for the top three Samui list, it's based on convenience. There are a lot of other cool places like this place I'm gonna show you right now where you could stay, but the convenience factor would be low. And I'm talking about the things like being able to easily get to a 7-Eleven, massage shops, bars, restaurants, availability of many hotels, all those services you want when you're trying to find a place to stay for say a week or a week and a half. <laughs> Look at this place. This is stunning. This is Crystal Bay or Silver Beach. And what's unique about it are these rocks popping up out there. The water's a bit rough today, but we can still appreciate the beautiful view here. I wanna let you know also, I have a Koh Samui e-guide that I put out with all sorts of information in there, places to stay, what to do, what to eat, how to get to Koh Samui, how to get around the island once you're here. You can download it as a PDF have it offline, in your pocket, on your phone when you're traveling around this island hotspot. And the island itself, well, it, it drops down from Bangkok, from the crotch. If Bangkok was up there in the crotch of the Gulf of Thailand, it drops down like, well, never mind that. It, it's a island out here in the Gulf of Thailand, and it's the third largest island in all of Thailand. Koh Samui back in the day was nothing more but a place where Thailand harvested lots of coconuts. Then in the 1970s, well, it was the backpacker community that was traveling around this great country of Thailand. And they discovered this place, Koh Samui, as a great destination to come and chill out and find these beautiful beaches that we're enjoying here today, now, many years later. Well, coconuts are still a big industry here on the island, second only to tourism. Here we are at the infamous Cha Wang Beach. Now, if you want party, if you want good times, every night, all the night, well, this is the place you want to come. It's popular among young backpackers, young couples, groups, and people just who want to have a good time day in and during the night. Now, this place is not just Partyville because it is centrally located. It's just around about a 10 minute or so drive from Lamai to the south where we just were. And if you keep going up around the north and along the north coast, you can explore places like Fisherman's Village, Bowput, and keep going off over to the west side of the island. So this place is convenient. And oh, did I mention the airport? It's about a five, 10 minute drive, depending on how fast your driver is when he picks you up at the airport to deliver you to your accommodation here in Cha Wang. And you can just see all the little hotels, all the people out and about enjoying the beach right now. This place comes alive at all hours of the day and it's got stretches, miles, meters of sandy, soft beaches. Today, it's a little bit rocky rolly out there. Some big waves are coming in, but it's not stopping the people getting out there enjoying it. A place for fun and also a place for relax. Living up to its party reputation, one of the best things to, well, the best things to do in Cha Wang are going to the beach and going out. One of the cool things to do is at happy hour, get yourself a drink, enjoy discounted drinks here along the beach. When you get tired of that, well, there's a big shopping mall, pretty big shopping mall for some movie standards here in town. You can go over there, get inside the air conditioned shops and enjoy the shopping. Right outside the mall, you'll find plenty of food options. And if you go across the street there at Cha Wang Lake, on, during the nighttime, you'll see so many little food stalls where you can get your foodie fix on. On the weekends, it's one of Samui's best night markets. The whole area there fills up with food stands so you can roam around in there from the hours of around six o'clock to 10 o'clock. So it's very conveniently located from there over here to the central hub of Cha Wang. Now, if you don't wanna leave the beach area behind, you wanna stay close, 
to the sand and the surf and the sun, I don't blame you. Well, on the main road cutting through Cha Wang that runs parallel to the beach, you'll see many different food stands, food stalls set up where you can grab some food there and bring it back down to your chairs here along the beach, beer in hand, and just enjoy every moment of beach life here in Samui. Now keep in mind, in Cha Wang, you're gonna be paying a little bit more for accommodation, but I have a place through here that I wanna show you that I think you'll enjoy, and you may pick it when you come to Koh Samui. We are at the north end of Cha Wang Beach, and this place is called Home, and it's a massive place. I've driven past here many times, and now we get to see the room. I don't know if it's your anniversary. So coming out of that bad boy room, you follow this footpath here and right down there, well, you're steps away from the beach. I've stayed in this area before and it's the best of both worlds. You get the party atmosphere of Cha Wang just nearby. We're on the northern end and it's a bit quieter here. So also you get a little bit of peace and relaxation, but if you want the, the bars and the nightlife, you hop on your scooter or you take a taxi and you're there in like two minutes time if you stay up here on the northern end of Cha Wang. And that beach right out there, that is some of the finest powdery flower-like sand beach. I really enjoy this hotel here and that's why I wanted to show it to you. Stunning. If you guys are enjoying all the content and want to support me in making more content, just simply click the like button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you're having a good time watching all the content. Also, a lot of you aren't yet subscribed. Click down below, subscribe to the channel, help this content get out to more people. Also make sure you're not gonna miss out on any of the upcoming videos I'm producing. Join the community, click subscribe. out right behind me is Fisherman's Village. We're in Boput up on the northern end of Koh Samui in my top three spots to stay on the island of Koh Samui and I think in my opinion this is the number one of the three spots. Now Fisherman's Village Boput it's favored by those couples and vacationers with a little bit more money to spend because up here you're gonna find luxury resorts and you're gonna find bigger hotel complexes but that's not to say you can't find a good bargain. Last year, down there in the heart of Fisherman's Village, I stayed in a place, super bargain, great price. Hotel, maybe not super high class, but up on the third floor, ocean sea views, incredible, loved it. And then come on, you have the island of Copenhagen off in the distance, you could see the little mountainous peaks on the island out there. It's a famous for its full moon parties off further in more islands. We're in the Gulf of Thailand, waves are coming in. This is one of my favorite spots and you can quickly see why with the different bars and restaurants on offer. Also, the accommodation I think is a little bit better, a little bit more chilled and a little bit more relaxed because Cha Wang can get annoying with all the music and all the partying that's going on. It depends upon what you're looking for in your vacation. Now, and besides a day trip out to Copenhagen, you could also take a day trip out to An Thong, the An Thong National Marine Park. There's a, around about 40 little islands out there. The boat trip takes you out there. You can go snorkeling. You can also stop for some food and lunch. It's a great day trip to make. All of that you can easily do from here in Bullput and Fisherman's Village. Now also, this place has plenty of beaches to chill out. Some of the best sand, the best beaches in all of Koh Samui. I really like the sand here and the way the waves hit in the north. Also, there are plenty of little umbrellas and loungers where you can chill out associated with the hotels. If you're not staying in the hotels, you can sneak onto, onto them for a little while or you can ask the hotel and they'll let you stay there for a little while and pay some money to do so. From here, you can also go east back towards Bang Rak and see the Big Buddha. You might have already seen that if you're landing by plane. You can see the Big Buddha. You can also see the giant temple on the lake. It's a beautiful temple inside this man-made lake. 
filled with koi, filled with turtles. Another thing, Fisherman's Village, this area, is a hot spot for restaurants and dining. Back down this way, we have Coco Tams, one of my favorite spots. Every night, they do a fire show out there on the beach. Great music, pretty good prices on beer, and just overall a good atmosphere. Heading back towards Bangrak, you have a place called Tembo. You also have another place called Keys Samui that are great places to check out. All of that can be done easily if you're based here in Fisherman's Village and Boput. You'll like it. Look, that place right there, summer, there are these new places, hipster places. But what I love about Boput is it's the mix of the new places also with the old part of Fisherman's Village. Because you get down in Fisherman's Village, there's some bars in there, some little restaurants. A really cool vibe with uh, Fisherman's Village and the newness of Coco Tams and that coffee joint like summer. And oh, one of my favorite coffee places in all of Bangkok to come and have breakfast is Bar Baguette right in front of Coco Tam. So if you need to get your coffee breakfast fix on, check out that place. We are at the Peace Resort on the western end of Bopup Beach and this place has some stunning rooms, gorgeous views of the ocean and beach out this way. Uh, let's get going. one's not bad. Sink here, bathroom here, comfortable bed, good size, and what I like is it's out here in the shade. It is so quiet. This is one of the deluxe bungalows. Okay. Kapum kap. much bigger, massive bathroom, 55 square meters, bed, a sitting room out this way. Currently there are no beach view ones available. These right here are the beach view bungalows. Now, there are only three with one bed in them. Then they have more that are larger bungalows available, but these things are impressive. I got a peek in there and they have their own private swimming pool. You can see right here, they have a view that opens up right out this way on the Gulf of Thailand with the view of Koh Phangan there. So I know I was teasing it at the start of this video that I'd let you know what the prices were of all these hotels that we visited throughout the day so it'll help make up your mind before you plan your next holiday. Now check this out. The place in Lamai with those little bungalows overlooking the bay there, only 57, 60 US dollars a night and that's a true bargain great price to be had with those little private bungalows perched up there on the hill and also has its own little private beach for the next place there at the northern end of cha wang the place called home i just got sidetracked by this amazing pool here that just goes off right off into the edge of the sea there another little positive point for the peach resort but going back to home the price you would pay there well, it's a pretty good bargain considering what it offers there. It offers the convenience of being in Cha Wang, but not right in the center of Cha Wang, and upper end high class rooms, 100 to around 150 a night, depending on which room you get. Now this place, the Peace Resort, well, it's expensive, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but I wanted to give you a, a different range of options, starting from the bay view there in Lamai up to the Peace Resort here in Boput because this place, I mean, it is stunning. So it starts at 250 a night for the basic bungalow and then goes on up to 600 a night for the bungalow there that has its own private pool and has the ocean seaside view. I mean, come on, every now and then you gotta splurge and live a little if you have the money and you can afford it. But don't worry, if it's out of your range, if it's too much money, there are plenty of other options that can be had here in Boput and all around the island. That's the great thing about Samui, it's a large island. But these, well, they're my top three places to stay. Lamai, Cha Wang, and Boput Fisherman's Village.
out of all the places we've seen today, where would you stay? Where would you prefer to spend your holiday? Or if you've been here to Samui before, where did you stay? Drop some comments down below. And while you're down there, I'm putting out a regular email newsletter with all sorts of travel tips and hacks. You can sign up for it. There's a link down below. Now, if you wanna get around Samui, getting to and from Samui, what you're gonna eat, what to see, what to do, I made another video about it here. Click on it, check it out.